What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with one of the stars and one of the most rumored phones of the year. It's now been announced and we've got it with us. This is the Samsung Galaxy S3 in white and blue. We had a chance to take a look at this guy when it was announced last week in the UK. First time I've had a chance to take a look at it. Let's go ahead and explore it a bit together. All right, so let me run through the specs on this guy and then we'll go ahead and do a quick tour of the phone. So the big deal here is what's powering it. It's being powered by the Exynos 4, and that is a quad-core processor with 1.4 gigahertz on each core, uh, augmented with a Giga RAM. Samsung's been known for their gorgeous screens, and this guy really is no exception. Uh, it's a 4.8-inch HD Super AMOLED screen, and of course, it's got to be HD, so it's 1280 by 720, and of course, that's always measured diagonally, and it's 1280 by 720. Uh, from a storage standpoint, it's going to be available in 16, 32, or 64. Uh, it is running. Ice cream sandwich. The best ice cream sandwich demonstration I can show is multitasking, which Samsung left alone. Uh, you can see that it's pretty standard, which I like. You can see all different applications. You could swipe them right off from there. Uh, on the camera standpoint, on the back, we've got an eight megapixel shooter. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the camera uh, in a minute. Of course, I can shoot 1080p video. A 1.9 megapixel shooter here. Uh, on the front, and these cameras um, have very, very, very minimal shutter lag. In fact, Samsung is saying they've got zero uh, shutter lag. Battery, uh, pretty beefy, removable actually, 2100 milliamp hour battery. Uh, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, the rest of the stuff you'd expect. All right, but let's take a look at the phone itself. Uh, they said it was designed by nature and very uh, pebble-esque, and I was a bit skeptical when I heard that being announced. Uh, but as you use the phone and you take your finger and scroll across the screen, uh, it feels very smooth. And that's sort of an odd thing to say. Uh, but when you go ahead and take a look at this device in the store, uh, you'll feel that everything feels just very, very silky smooth. Uh, this phone has been very quick to use in just a few minutes that I've had it. I'll reserve um, my full uh, opinions for a review, but initial blush, uh, there is no sort of Android lag at all on this phone. Uh, things open very, very quick. One of the things that actually I was most impressed by, if you go ahead and open up the keyboard, for example, you can see just how fast it moves as you move your finger over. It's generally been a, a test that I've used for, um, for latency, and this one really doesn't have any. As fast as my finger can go, uh, this can keep up with it. So let's talk a little bit about the design. Uh, we've got that one big home button, which is a carryover from the international uh, Galaxy Note and Galaxy S2 we've seen. Uh, we don't have any US carrier information, um, so whether or not that home button will stay when it presumably comes to US shores uh, is yet to be seen. Hiding behind and actually hiding next to that big home button, we've got two hidden capacitor buttons. Uh, we've got a menu button, which you can guess that pulls up a menu, and we've got a back button. And you're probably asking, how do you multitask? Well, you hold down that home button, and you can go ahead and get to that multitasking button. Uh, so Samsung has tweaked and refined TouchWiz here. Um, so a few of the most notable tweaks is the lock screen. So if you go ahead and lock the phone and unlock it, you can now launch applications. You can customize what these four are right from the lock screen. You can see weather uh, and a few other options, and if you want to open them, you just tap it and drag it up pretty much what you would, uh, what you'd expect. Uh, there are also some sort of neat gesture controls in here. Now these are pre-production models, so let me say that and we'll test how everything's working. Uh, if you wanna open the camera without having unlocked the phone from the lock screen, if you put your finger on it and you tilt, it should, in theory, launch the camera. And it did launch the camera, which is a very nice segue to talking about the camera options here. And we'll bring in the blue guy uh, and we'll take a look at that shutter lag or presumed zero shutter lag. So let's take a picture took a picture very quickly. You can tap to focus the rest of the stuff uh, that we've expected now from a modern camera phone. From a camera setting standpoint, we'll take a quick look at what we got. Self-portrait for taking all your Facebook duck lips pictures. I know you guys like to do. I do them too. You should see my duck lip pictures. It's going to make people uh, run in fear. Uh, so a quick look at the camera. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the uh, apps that Samsung's going to uh, have on here. Presumably there'll be some carrier stuff when this does uh, get some carrier announcement. Uh, we got Samsung Apps, we got Play Books, which is Google's new uh, bookstore, so they changed it to Google Play. Uh, we've got some more services, Navigation, S Suggest. We've got the rest of the Google stuff they've come to, uh, to see and imagine. Uh, let's see if we've got internet connectivity. And uh, we can take a quick look at uh, the browser. Uh, and one of the things that this phone uh, does, which is very neat, is watch your eyes to see uh, whether or not phone lights up or not light, not uh, lights up. So I'm very curious to use that in everyday use uh, and see how it works. So I'll reserve impressions uh, there as well. Uh, the screen though is absolutely wonderful and being a phone that's pretty much just screen, that's something that you're really gonna want to be um, cognizant of. 
Uh, Samsung has really set the bar for their AMOLED technology in the screens, uh, the Galaxy Note and uh, the S2 and the Galaxy Nexus lines. And this one looks to take that a step further. Uh, it's not a revolutionary screen, but it's an evolution of a very, very impressive display. Uh, so whether or not you're looking to get a new phone over the next few months, uh, the Galaxy S3 definitely deserves uh, top spots uh, on your list. I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo. This has been a first look at, this is the white Galaxy S3, then we've got the blue Galaxy S3 for you here as well. Uh, so what do you guys think? Is this phone going to be the next one to grace your pocket for the next two years? Are you going to be the first one to pull a trigger and import it? You're going to wait till it comes to US carriers? I'd love to hear uh, what your thoughts on that is. Anyway guys, I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.